How do artists like Marshmallow, Chainsmokers and Fred again have drum tracks that sound so perfectly balanced, glued together, but they're still punching through the track? It's something that I get asked all the time in the comments. Well, here's how you do it. First thing we're gonna do is place all of our drums into one drum bus or group. If your drums are too dry, we wanna add a small amount of reverb to make them not so dead. If your drums have already got reverb, then you can skip this step, but it's worth watching because this reverb trick is really handy for other elements in the track. I'm using the Valhalla reverb here, it's one of my favorites. The settings are crucial because we don't want to drown out the drums. This needs to be super subtle, we don't want it to sound like the drums are playing in a cave, it kind of defeats the whole point of this. So open up the reverb, I'm going for a short decay of 0.2 seconds and to avoid reverb on the kick and the super high stuff I'm using a low cut around 300 hertz and a high cut around 10k. Set the mix to 3% and the pre-delay to about 20 milliseconds. Next plugin after this is you want to put a compressor on. This is going to have a ratio of about 2 to 1 with a slow attack and a fast release. You want to move the threshold so that you're getting around minus minus four dB of gain reduction. After this, your drum should sound a little bit more lively. Here's a before and after. Now that we've got the drums sounding a little bit more lively, let's move on to the main step to get them super punchy. Next plugins in the chain, put an enveloper and then a limiter after it. Firstly, we're gonna open up the limiter and we're gonna click on the Unity Gain button. Now on the FabFilter Pro L2, that is this button down here that is a one-to-one. -one. The reason we wanna use this is because we want the output and the input levels to stay exactly the same and only use a little bit of limiting on the peaks. By turning the Unity Gain button on, the output will automatically match the amount of gain you're putting through the input. The one thing you will need to listen for here is that you're doing too much limiting and you will hear a ducking effect on the transients. So take it up, but don't get that so it's ducking too much. So let's just listen to that on its own. Now go to the enveloper, turn up the gain of the attack. I'm using around 50%, but with all these settings, adjust to taste and exactly what the track needs. This enveloper's adding some attack to the transients to make them sound more punchy and hit through the mix. And because we have the limiter after this, it stops us from peaking too much, so the levels are staying the same, but we're getting a really fast, punchy transient. Now this is part of my deep dive mixing course on streaky.com, so if you wanna see how to mix exactly how pros do, then go to streaky.com where you can get my deep dive mixing course. Now let's listen to the before and after, how this affects the sound. Now watch the next video coming up and it's gonna show you exactly how to get some amazing separation between your instruments and just make things gel so much better.